So everyone, we are here with game two. And for game two, we have uh, something uh, slightly different. We have Cell. Yeah, it's Topku versus Cell. Rejoice, we found the green deck in the room, Damien. Yeah, yeah, we're Joe, we're house. not the only green players anymore. So uh, we're going to be seeing just the standard can trip Goku, like pay one, draw one. That's it. Um, we see Cell uh, immediately taking damage here. Topku. So in this matchup, I believe that uh, yeah, Topku is going to have to be a bit more aggressive with his own lives, uh, as uh, Cell is. And Cell, while gonna, while he's gonna be attacking him, is not gonna be as explosive as what we have seen in the last. Just like Topku versus Topku, bam, over in five minutes. So. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we just see Cell using destructive strength, gonna be ramping here and uh, using MOA for one. Yeah, I love MOA in this deck as well, because there's so many extras Ooh. you want to find, and you see this one here, the Cell's, Cell's Games Arena, lets okay. you check the top card of your deck, and then either add it to your energy or add it to your hand, um, which is a really powerful tool, especially mm -hmm. when you get to five energy and you awaken, because then you get to ramp with leader, ramp with Cell, and you kind of start creating this loop when you start getting to eight energy that you can keep on eight drop selling, recover life, blow up the board, ramp a pair using your leader and your arena, uh, and then next to charge to wait and do the sell all over again, which is, I think, what Cell is going to aim to do in this matchup. Yeah, Cell is aiming to go, in, to go into his ramp pieces, to go a bit slower into his big eight to drop, and then he can start contesting... Goku for the board by blowing up all of his pieces. Goku, on the, on the other hand, has a very, very easy time at reassembling the board. But uh, in return, at least Cell gets to get that one life back. So they are... They're kind of balancing it in the way, you know. Like, you get to get rid of the board, but you get that one life back, which is going to help you survive Goku's oncoming pressure. Yeah, and a key card in this matchup for Hamza here is going to be that Android 17, the three drop that some top coup decks don't play, um, but a lot of them should be playing it, really. Um, because that Android 17, once you're awakened, can't be KO'd by skills. So it's all of Green's removal mm -hmm. is KOing via a skill. So that Android 17 is pretty much just going to sit itself on the board and be a really difficult thing, and it's just going to keep on swinging every turn. Um wisely Hamza chooses to decide to he doesn't want to swing with the critical Khalifas doesn't want to go too fast here because again if he puts those cards in rest mode all of a sudden Cell doesn't have to attack the leader uh, and that's kind of what he wants to get himself into an awakening range and again we might see him start to put his foot on the gas this turn uh, knowing that that foot we've reached five energy now knowing that the Cell leader can't use its own its own um, ramp effect um, but seeing green start to steadily get more energy uh, is going to be scary. So yeah, he's going to put his foot on the gas on this turn um, and then start attacking Cell. Yeah, pushing Cell all the way down to four lives. Cell awakening now. Uh, going to be comboing Moa away to get out of that other crit swing. And we see the third Khalifla Kal coming down, taking Goku down to five and another... 20k swing here going to force the cell to use the one drop goku to combo out of the attack and another color all four in the deck joe all four of them sometimes you've just got it like that damien sometimes you've just got it like that like i i like that he's been able to put on this pressure but he didn't get himself down to that three life and if cell has something strong to hit back with this turn it could be a little bit of a dangerous turn for him. Mm. Could be, but he also has to find an answer to four Khalifas on the on on the field because all of them are critical pressure coming in next yeah. turn. So Cell's so gonna be just swinging at the Khalifa, starting to get rid of them, not giving Goku the draw, not giving him that one life. That's Ooh. a really strong answer. Yeah, that is a really really strong answer. Just annihilating the board here gonna pay one let's see what is it it's big bang attack going to ramp it into the energy so now he should be at seven 
that's really good. So the really good thing with Droid here is not only does it clear up two of those Khalifas, but also it's 45k base. It's going to be a really, it might be 40 actually. Yeah, 40k base. Yep. It's a 40k base. It's a really difficult card for Topku in particular to minus off the board. Unless he's playing a few bits like the um, Super Kamehameha, um, it, it, it's a really tricky card for them to deal with because they just don't like, they've got small minus effects, incremental ones. A deck like Beerus deals with this a lot easier because it has that inbuilt minus 10 for the leader. Topku really going to struggle getting this off the board and he wants to take that life to get to three to awaken. And all of a sudden, that droid sat on the board for another turn is just going to become that little bit more threatening. Um, so interesting to see how Topku is going to deal with this here. Let's see what's he thinking. Okay, so he's going to be just hard, hard casting the Caliph like here. Yeah, if in just, doubt, careful yeah. them, you know. <laughs> yeah, careful. Uh, going to bring down the Gohan, which is... Gonna get plus 5k once the leader is awakened and on swing, grabs a life, minuses something by 15, which is going to bring Topku down to those three lives where he really, really wants to be. Yeah, where he really wants to be to be able to start cheating cards out. So that's a swing that's minus 15 onto the androids. And this is why that 40k is so important because. He's still not fully being able to pressure the androids here. He's mm -hmm. going to have to find either he's going to have to direct attacks into it and combo up, or he's going to have to find another minusing effect. Here, he's just ignoring it. So he's swinging leader and Gohan into the leader here just to try and put a bit more pressure on. But I think Cell's going to be quite happy to see this, especially because he can go, I'll pick up a life next turn. If he's got the eight drop Cell, he's popping both bodies on board here. Um, or at least two bodies, we'll see what gets played off the leader effect, um, and, and then just gets to heal back the life he's taken anyway. Mm -hmm. Caterpillar coming in, that's going to be a decent card to go and pressure the droids now. Yep. Loses 15, down to 25, Caterpillar down to 20, and now Caterpillar can swing 20 to 15 if he chooses it. Yeah, so he's going to choose it again, so that's 20 to 15 swing. I think you're happy defending here. It might, depends if he's got enough 10Ks to do so. Look, okay. Go on, so 10K. There is another swing here coming in from the Kefla. It's probably going to be defending that one as well. Let's see if there is going to be any combos. He I really think he, yeah, he's considering. Board, yeah. He's like, okay, 10K. Combos on top. Let's see what the response from says. I think you're defending it again. Because you're going to heal I back think you are defending well. it. Yeah. Even if it costs you a couple of cards here, like the swing that the cell and the droids is going to do against three life next turn is is huge. Chooses to let it go though, crucially. Okay. And then now, it now cell is going to get uh, to eight. Uh, we know that like Tommy definitely has a boss monster in in his hand because he chose to charge the eight drop. And he saw it with the arena. So he definitely has a boss monster here. Just the leader swing to mm. see an extra card to begin with. Swings at the battle card. Yeah. Also swing at the Ketopesle so that he doesn't get the effect when KO'd. Yeah, doesn't make any of his battle cards. Mm -hmm. Lose 5k, really heads up play to swing at that first. A really simple 5k defend here though. If he wants to keep it around. But no, lets it go. And then are we slamming 8 and just wiping the other two off the board. Yeah, and there, there comes the cell, wipes the other two, kills free energy. Also going to be healing for one, going back to four, setting the tournament of power Goku back a bit, forcing him to re-establish his board, which is going to be more doable now that he has awakened. But still, there is a... So he's also using... He's a leader's ability to ramp, he's using the cell games, he's opting not to ramp, but to draw a card instead. He has okay. one in the active, and now he's swinging with a big swing here, putting Goku to two, and here comes the cell junior, which is going to be getting him a card, extra card back from the drop, getting that instant Kamehameha, paying one for Moa, so now with instant Kamehameha, he has 15k on defense, if he needs to defend from a big swing, he's on four lives, uh, using Moa to grab cell games, it's basically worthless at this point. 
but there there were no other targets i would assume so the turn goes back to topku let's see let's yeah. see is he gonna be able to pressure now i think four lives and with a hand this big one two three four five six seven with nine cards in hand and four lives i think that just pressuring here is going to be a very very tall order especially with the two green cards down on the field providing some extra combo power uh, I think Topku is now looking at a bit of an uphill battle versus this cell. Uh, however, there is Ketopesa, which can get rid of the two one-drops. Just one by being played and swinging. Turn. One incredible turn. Green is so back. Topku's overrated. <laughs> Rubbish deck. Don't know what we're all talking about. Uh, 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 it's a little bit of recency bias. That uh, one turn there, with, like the huge swing in tempo there, is phenomenal to see he's got that cells game arena as well that's the charge for next turn that's easy what can topku do to respond here yeah it's going to have a bit of energy to flood the board again but you can see here on hamza he's just he's unsure where the leader swings go in he's been rumbled by cell here um four life what's that one two three four five six seven eight cards in hand gets the mower off the board in a combo early on so he's not going to lose it to a catapestler minus as well Maybe Hamza would have thought about playing the Catapestler first to get that minus off the board. A little bit of extra advantage you could work in. But here comes the leader effect now. Kefla, draw. Can we play anything? Yeah. Going to be the Catapestler yeah. minus the sell by 5k. Um, but I don't I, know if this is enough to pressure really at the minute. Yeah, I think I would have went with Kefla, Ketopesla earlier because then... You don't yes. get the MOA combo, you minus one and then you minus the other one on attack. You win and lose games on 5k in the in, in Masters, Fusion World, whatever it might be. Um, these small cards add up, and when you lose a game by 5k, a lot of the time you're like, oh, I got unlucky. No, it will have been something that you miss sequence along the way that gets you there. Um, so, could come up later on, you might end up losing by 5k combo, we'll see, but it'll be interesting to see how he's going to get around this a drop cell to begin with okay let's see so swinging in with the kefla now we see uh we know that tommy has an instant kamehameha his opponent is also aware of it i'm wondering if there is another one in his hand we know that there is a cell games arena in, in arena in the hand he's just going to be taking this one which is okay, especially if he has another boss monster, he can just play it on the other, on his next turn, wipe the board, gain lives, gain lives back. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Passes. No, actually, he can't, he doesn't have eight energy, he's just on six. Because he, he has droids here, yeah. for the double strike, plus like the instant Kamehameha's you've got on top of it as well, because he'll charge to seven. I mean, even the leader and that big, uh, the eight drop cell represent enough pressure to the life here that um, he's going to have to lose. Top is going to have to lose a lot of cards from its hand. But you can see he's keeping the energy up. I think he's got two copies of Hidden Arrogance in hand as well. So he's going to have a very big defensive turn, hoping that Tommy's going to go after life. He can defend and then keep his board to maybe win on the tempo on the way back. But Tommy, quite wisely, goes, I'm in no rush to end this game. I'm just going to attack your board. Mm. You're not going to waste those hidden arrogances on those battle cards to defend them. Um, I'm just going to wipe the board and then use all my energy for another big bomb here, which we're so used to seeing Green do. Yeah, let's see. What does he... Instead another of ramping, he just picks one. Yeah, because no need. Like, he wants to be on eight energy. He can just charge next turn one in one inactive and then just go for another boss monster if necessary. Kami to get the value to kill the uh, the mm -hmm. as well. Board's He's gonna be clear. let's see, gonna be tapping, He's gonna be tapping out. To yeah. play, yeah. There are the droids, and there is also instant Kamehameha in the hand. This might be the swing oh, for yeah. the game. It's a huge let's hand, but see. a double copy of arrogance in hand represents a twenty five k's worth of combo power each one. So he wisely doesn't combo everything in. He just wants to go, why have you left four energy up? Let's figure out why you've done that with a nice sort of, what is that, 50, uh, 55k there? Forces the super combo and mm. the arrogance out. 
really heads up play, takes it nice and easy. Next turn, Tommy's going to be building for a win. Yeah, let's let's see. So Topko is going to be having a very very uphill battle battle here. There are three super combos though in hand. One hidden arrogance, Android seventeen. I'm not sure what the last card was. I think it's uh, I think it's a cauliflower or something. Didn't get to see properly, but unfortunately, yeah, the hand is great for defending, but not really for playing things. Yeah, and so he's going to just swing with the leader to yeah. hope to find something good. That's Gohan could be useful. That's a card that you can play here mm -hmm. to try and ramp up a bit of pressure. But as you quite rightly identified there, Damien, the hand is really defensive. Yeah. Double super combo, hidden arrogance. He can probably hang on for one turn and he's not going to lose the game, but he's not really putting himself in a position to win the game either. Let's see, what do we have here? So... Android 17, Gohan, and what is the last card? Is it Hazel. Basil? I think I did see it. Yeah, I think there is a, 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 a Basil kicking about in that hand there. No, no, it's Ribrian. Okay. That's what the, it's an interesting one that he takes the life there. Kind of, as we said earlier, Hidden Arrogance is not only a really good defensive card, but primarily an offensive tool that these top coup decks use. And it is worth a lot of cards. Cell's got a big hand, but that. 25k swing in power along with the rest of what he's got on top of a Ribrian could just end it if the hand isn't strong enough for Tommy so really interesting that he takes that 20k hit down to 2 Tommy must be really confident in the mm. defensive value of his hand, he must have a lot of super combos and be happy with that instant Kamehameha there yeah we don't know what uh, we don't know what all of the cards are in his hand but yeah just going down to 3 not knowing what Topko hands in his hand is exceptionally risky. And uh, yeah, here we're going to be seeing a hand dump. So all or nothing play. Let's see, does Tommy have anything to get out? Yeah, here's one, two super, three super combos. <laughs> that's that's basically it now. So instant Kamehameha and yeah. Tommy wins with green cell, defeats Topku. Wow, what a game. What a game. Let me just switch us to caster screen, guys, so that we can comment this up.